Hello boys and girls, I switched spots in the house today. Um, I have on this wonderful apron that my mom bought me. Uh, she bought this the other day and she said, Miss Wilderick, I think you could use this in the classroom. And I was thinking and thinking, and I have the perfect thing because it has this handy dandy little pouch in it. And I can hide things in there. Um, what animal do you know has a pouch in it that might hide things down in there? Mm, it can jump. It might live in Australia. You could be a kangaroo. I think I'm not sure. Do koalas have pouches? I don't know. I don't think they do. I don't know. Not definitely. I kept thinking of koala, but no, kangaroo um, is what I was thinking of. So let's find out what's in my pouch. So let's see what I have in here. I have a letter. Anybody know what letter that is? It is letter U. And if you take your finger, you can kind of make it go up in the air. It's like a big, long, happy face. Okay, letter U. So inside my pouch, I also have, you know what this is. We sing this song every week. Can you teach the song to mom and dad or your brothers and sisters at home? We are learning letter U, letter U, letter U. We are learning letter U, a, uh, a, uh, umbrella. Oh, it is an umbrella. Um, umbrella, so we have an umbrella there. I don't have my chart here at home, so I'll save this and we can put it up at school. Let's see what else is in my pouch. Now, we just said this one. We just said an umbrella. So, yes, we have that. Um, let me see what else is in here. Oh, what is this? It's a horse with a horn on the top. Yes, that's right. It's a unicorn. And you makes the ah uh sound. It also makes the you sound. So um, that one does have the you sound. Um, what about this thing? What is this crazy thing? It looks like a bike. It has one wheel with pedals and a seat on the top. It is called a you, you, unicycle, unicycle. I have, oh, I have a map here. This is a map of what country? This is the United States, United States. Very good. Um, let's see. Oh, if you have stairs, if you're not going down the stairs, you're going uh, uh, up the stairs. Up begins with you. Oh, the duck is in the pond. It's not going over the bridge. It's going under the bridge, under the bridge. Um, sometimes people might have to wear a special outfit when they're doing a job. This would be a u u uniform, uniform. And the last one in my pouch is my favorite thing, which I'm missing so much right now. This guy, I don't know, Gabby, can you see that? This guy, he helps with baseball. He calls all the, he'll say, you're out. Or he'll say, strike, strike or ball. This is an uh, uh, umpire, umpire. Sorry, Patchy's getting a little excited right now. She doesn't know what we're doing. And she's like, hey, let me join you, mom. I wanna know what's going on. So I'll put them back in my pouch. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of religion before we leave today. So let's put our hands up to God and we'll say a little prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good afternoon, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And I have a picture here today. And who do you think this man might be? That's right. That's Jesus. Jesus is there. And Jesus looks like he's putting something on this man's eyes. I wonder what he's putting on his eyes. It almost looks like dirty. It looks like reddish, brownish. Um, he's putting something on his eyes. But the guy looks like he's kind of like happy. Like he's like, thank you, Jesus. And the girl over here is like, oh, wow, look what he just did. So let's read a story a little bit here about what is going on in this picture. It says, Jesus saw a man who had been blind since he was born. 
What does it mean to be blind? It means you can't see. You can't see anything. So shut your eyes for a minute. Close them real tight. Now, if I told you to go from here to your kitchen, would you be able to get up and walk to your kitchen without bumping into anything with your eyes closed? No, that would be very tough to do with our eyes closed. I mean, you might make it there, but you would probably bump into a few things. So a blind person is someone who cannot see. So Jesus told the man what to do so he would be healed. The man did what Jesus told him to do. One of the man's neighbors asked him, Aren't you the blind man who used to sit and beg? The man who had been healed said, I was blind, but now I can see. The man named Jesus put mud on my eyes. He told me to wash in the pool of Siloam. I did, and now I can see. A Pharisee said, I bet you were never blind. They brought in the man's parents and asked them if the man were, was their son and if he was blind. The man's father said, Ask him. He is old enough to speak for himself. So the people asked the man, Tell us who can see now. Tell us how can you see now. The man said, I already told you. A man named Jesus healed me and now I can see. Do you want to be his disciples too? The Pharisee said, If you follow that man, then you can't worship with us. Jesus heard about what happened. He went to talk to the man he had healed. He asked the man, Do you believe in the one who comes from God? The man asked, Who is this person? Jesus said, You have seen him and are speaking with him now. The man said, I believe in you, Jesus. So, how did the blind man feel when he could see? Do you think he was happy? Do you think he was excited to see? Imagine if you close your eyes and then you open, and when you close your eyes, what do you see? You just see black. It's just darkness. But when you open them, you can see all the colors. You can see the beautiful things in the world. Um, so, when he was healed, do you think, um, what, what do you think you wanted to see the most when he was healed? I don't know. That's a question for you to answer with mom and dad. But think about what would you want to see the most if you were healed? And why did he trust Jesus when Jesus put mud on his eyes? So the way Jesus did that, it was kind of neat. He actually, in one of the other Bible stories, it tells us that Jesus grabbed some dirt and he spit in it. He went and he spit and he rubbed the dirt together and he made a mud in his hand. And he took that mud and he put it on the blind man's eyes. And all of a sudden, the blind man could see. It was like a miracle. It was awesome. So this blind man um, was very happy. He was very excited. He was telling everybody, you must follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. And that's what the people were doing. They believed. They finally said, wow, he was blind and now he can see. So what I'm going to ask you is, if you can in your house, try to make pretend on the carpet that there's a road. And take turns with mom and dad. And kneel down on that road like the blind man. Kneel down like you're waiting for Jesus with your eyes closed. And have mom and dad come over and make some mud for you. And say, I'm going to heal you. And they'll put the mud on your eyes. And then open up your eyes. And thank Jesus for all that he has done for you. Thank him and say, thank you, Jesus. I appreciate that. I can see now. Um, so try that with mom and dad. Another fun thing mom and dad you can do is... Um, of course, I have all the copies here at home, uh, but maybe you can, um, and what I'll do is I'll try to send these home once we get back to school. Hopefully, we get back to school. Um, I'll try to send these home, but if you want to draw a picture, Gabby, I don't know if you can see that picture there. Um, you can draw this picture. Uh, you don't even have to draw this picture. You can even draw a train or some buildings and some trees and do different shapes. So, like, the triangle would be, what color is this, boys and girls? The triangle is green and the rectangles would be blue. Oh, what shape is that? That's a circle. Circles would be yellow and the squares would be what color? Red. So you can have fun. You can choose whatever colors you want. You can make your own picture of shapes, basically a shape picture, and then have the kids color it. Mom and dad, you can draw it. Shapes are very easy to draw. Um, just something fun to do. And remember while you're draw drawing, the, the blind man, he would not have been able to see that. We are lucky and we can thank Jesus for what we see every day. Um, and here's just a fun thing, Mom and Dad. You can even dip dot out. I can see 
um, and have the, and maybe draw some funny eyes the kids can color or they can even draw eyes uh, different types of eyes some looking to the sides and looking up um, which are kind of fun to do all right guys boys and girls I will see you tomorrow tomorrow is pond day so we were talking all about the pond and i'm going to show you how you can build your own pond inside your house i think it's going to rain tomorrow so we might have to build it inside or you can go outside to build a fun pond so i'll see you tomorrow boys and girls bye